One of the fastest growing hospital infections is Clostridium difficile, or C. diff for short. It appears that alcohol-based hand sanitizers do not kill C. diff spores. So it's important if there's C. diff anywhere in your area of the hospital that you clean your hands with soap and water. Don't rely on those alcohol-based hand sanitizers. It's not that soap and water kill the C. diff spores, but they do help wash the spores off your hands and down the drain. So how do patients contract C. diff? Most patients coming into the hospital do not have those C. diff spores in their gastrointestinal tract unless they've been hospitalized frequently in the past. The fact is that most hospital patients contract C. diff inside the hospital when they swallow the C. diff spores themselves. How could such a thing happen in a hospital? Well, it happens because the surfaces in the hospital become heavily contaminated with these invisible spores if anyone in the hospital has C. diff. C. diff causes rampant diarrhea and the spores literally get on everything. Then patients reach out to the surfaces around their own bedside, whether it's the bedside table or the bed rail or the IV pole, even their bed sheets or a nurse's uniform or a blood pressure cuff. They pick up those spores on their hands, then they touch their lips, or when their meal tray comes, they pick up their roll or sandwich and they eat it without cleaning their hands first and they ingest those spores along with their food. Effective environmental cleaning is so important to protect patients from C. diff that when it isn't done properly, placing a patient in an inadequately cleaned room can be a deadly mistake. Research at Case Western University and the Cleveland VA show how important environmental cleaning is in protecting patients. They found that after terminal cleaning, the kind of cleaning that's done when one patient is discharged and before the next one is admitted to the room, 78% of surfaces were still contaminated with C. diff spores. But after the researchers worked with the cleaners and showed them the importance of drenching and waiting rather than the quick spray and wipe, and the importance of using bleach when C. diff is present in the hospital, they were able to reduce that contamination with C. diff down to 1% from 78%. That's very important in protecting your patient from C. diff. Of course, most medical professionals have very little to say about how the hospital is cleaned, but the step you can take that's so important is to make sure that your own hands are not a vector carrying those C. diff spores to the objects right around your patient's bedside. And of course, in addition, making sure that your patient cleans his or her hands before eating and avoids touching his lips after touching surfaces in the room. To help you remind your patients of this fact, we at the Committee to Reduce Infection Deaths have actually developed a little tent card that you can have put on every patient's meal tray we'd be glad to make these available for your hospital. Many people think that it's antibiotics that cause C. diff. While it is true that patients on antibiotics are particularly vulnerable to C. diff-associated diarrhea, the real cause of C. diff is not the use or overuse of antibiotics. Patients will not develop C. diff-associated diarrhea unless they have those C. diff spores in their gastrointestinal system and almost all the time, those spores enter their system because the patient has swallowed those C. diff spores. That's why it's so important that we help patients protect themselves from swallowing those spores.